So these settings I'm showing you in today's video, I've spent years trying to perfect, so all I ask is that you watch the video all the way till the end, but I can 100% guarantee that you will have an amazing sounding microphone for YouTube videos after you're done watching the video. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video, just how to make a cheap microphone sound like a studio microphone, or basically like an expensive microphone. And this video will even help people who don't record from a normal microphone for their videos but want to make their audio sound better on like their camera microphone, or like their phone microphone, or really whatever they record on. So this right now is what my microphone sounds like before all the editing, obviously it does not sound that good but this right now is what my microphone sounds like after all the editing is done and I've added all the effects that I'm going to be showing you later in the video. And uh, obviously that sounded much better and that's an improvement that you can expect for your own microphone by watching this video. All I ask is that if this video helps you out at all then please do hit that like button because it would really help other people find this video and also I have no idea what the comment question for this video should be so if you could just go down in the comment section and say hi or something I'd really appreciate that. Um, anyways, to make your microphone sound better, you will need a free program called Audacity, and this is a voice recording software on both Mac, Windows, and Linux. Now this software lets you make your mic quality so much better, and this is a program that you can actually drag pre-recorded audio files into and make them sound better as well. But in the video, I'm going to be using a live example where I'm recording directly from the software itself and then make the edits onto that too. So I'm not going to go through the installation process because it's pretty easy, but I'll have some pictures on the screen right now. And uh, there will be a download link in the description below, so just go through all that. If you're on Windows, I believe you just download the installer. And if you're on Mac, just download the DMG file. From there, you can open it up, install it. And once you open up Audacity, you should see a screen very similar to this one that I have on the screen right now. So this right here is the free program that I've been talking about. It's called Audacity and it really does help you make your microphone quality so much better. So right off the bat, you can actually select your microphone from this drop down menu right here, right next to the microphone symbol. So whatever your microphone is in this list, just go ahead and select that. So I'll select it right here. And the next thing that you wanna do is make sure that your recording channels are set to stereo. So it should be the second one right here. Click that, should be good to go from there. And then right here, the thing next to the speakers, this is literally just wherever the sound goes in your computer. So for me, it goes to my headset, but for you, it might go to like your speakers or really whatever it is. So just select that from there too. And you should be good to go. So this right here is basically like when you play back your audio when you're done recording, it will play through that. So if you select your speakers here, it will go through your speakers. If you select, if you select your headset, it will go through that, so on and so forth. So now the first thing that I want you guys to do is do a test recording and make sure that your microphone is in a good and comfortable position. You can do a recording by hitting this red little circle button right here, and when you're done with it, you can just hit this little stop button right here. Um, when you're recording, I just want you guys to make sure that your mic isn't too close to your mouth, but it's also not too far away at the same time. So I'm personally not going to be doing this because I know that my mic is in a good position, but for those of you guys who just might be pretty new to all this, I highly recommend just doing a test recording, do a couple of tests until you're happy with like how loud or quiet the sound is, and then you can continue the video from there. But now since I'm not going to be doing all that, I think it's time for me to do a real test recording, but one thing that you should always do when recording on Audacity is leave 5 seconds of no noise in the beginning of your recording. And by that I mean don't talk or anything, like just let Audacity record whatever is going on in like the background noise of your microphone, whether it's like a fan buzzing in the background, or like maybe your microphone has like a little buzz to it or something, so that it can use that information later on in the video to get rid of the background noise in your entire recording. And I am going to be showing you guys how to do that later on in the video like I just said in that same sentence. But anyways, let me quickly do a test recording right now. Hey guys, since you're already watching the video, you might as well hit that like button, it really would mean a lot to me. Also, if you want to be a YouTuber someday, definitely check out my other videos, I make tons of videos all about how to grow your YouTube channel. Alright cool, so now let's hear that back and see how the audio sounds before all the edits. Hey guys, since you're already watching the video, you might as well hit that like button, it really would mean a lot to me. Also, if you want to be a YouTuber someday, definitely check out my other videos, I make tons of videos all about how to grow your YouTube channel. Okay, cool. So now it's time to make our edits and make our voice quality sound much better. So to do that, click this blank space right here because it will select your entire file. And then from there, go to effects and then hit compressor. Now, once you're there, I want you to make sure that your threshold is set to negative 12. I want you to make sure that your noise floor is set to negative 40. Your ratio 2 to 1. Attack time should be 0.20 seconds. And release time should also be 1.0 seconds. I believe this is the default, but this is highly important to make sure that your audio sounds much better later on in the video. And also make sure that this first box is checked up right here. Then hit OK. And then from there, it will go ahead and compress your audio. And once you've done that, we want to add some equalization to our audio as well. So make sure that your file is still completely selected. It should be like white, kind of like in the background. Then from there, go to Effect, and then go to Filter Curve. Once you're in Filter Curve, go to Manage, and then go to Factory Presets, then hit Bass Boost. And then really, all you have to do on this page is just drag this little guy right here, this little circle, down to 3 decibels. 3 decibels is right here, I believe it starts on 9, so just drag it down to 3. From there, hit OK, and it will start equalizing, or like adding the Bass Boost. Then from there, the next thing that we want to do is go to Effect, Filter Curve, Manage, Factory Presets again, and then we want to do a Trouble Boost this time, but this time we're just going to leave it at 9 decibels, then hit OK. And now we're going to go ahead and go to Effects, and then go to the Normalize button right here. Click that, you can leave the settings the same as here, and then hit OK. So one other thing that I definitely think you guys should do is go to Effects, 
go to limiter, which I believe is right here. And then make sure that you're on hard limit from this drop down menu right here. You can leave all the settings the same. Just make sure that limit two is set to negative four and then hit okay. And now we just want to quickly go to effects, go to normalize and just normalize the audio file once again. Again, like I said before, just leave everything the same. Hit OK, and we should be good to go from there. All right, cool. So now I want to quickly address why I left this like five seconds of emptiness in the beginning of like our audio track. And the reason why I did that is so that Audacity can actually have a clear recording of what's going on in the background of my microphone, whether it's like a microphone buzzing or like a fan on in the background and things like that. So let me actually quickly play through this like background noise right here, just so that you guys can hear whatever is going on in the background. I guess I can quickly increase the audio for you guys too, because I'm pretty certain there should be some noise there. So let me quickly play through it. Yeah, so that's literally just my ceiling fan on in the background. I know it does sound somewhat loud, and you guys usually don't hear it in any of my videos, but that's because of the thing that I'm about to show you guys right now. So let me quickly make my uh, gain back down to zero. You really didn't have to do that part. It's just like increase the audio levels. But anyways, what you want to do is just select your background noise, like how I had like the emptiness in the beginning of my video. All you have to do is just select that right there. And you can do that by just like clicking on one spot and just dragging over. I highly recommend just selecting like four to five seconds because I think that gives a audacity like a very good like reference point. And then from there, go to effect, go to noise reduction and then hit get noise profile. Click that and it will automatically generate or basically like save what your background noise sounds like. Now from there, what we want to do is actually select our entire file by clicking this little blank space right here. And once you have your entire track selected, go to effect and then go to noise reduction again. But this time you want to make sure that your noise reduction is on 12. Make your sensitivity 6, I believe, and then also make your frequency 3. And from there, make sure your noise is on reduce, and that's literally all you have to do. From there, you can hit OK. And if we try listening back to the beginning, you guys will probably not hear anything. Or if you hear something, it's going to be very slight. So let's compare, like that compared to what I just had, like obviously we basically got rid of all the background noise that was in the video. And let's go ahead and play through the audio just like compare it to whatever it was like, like in the beginning of the video. Hey guys, since you're already watching the video, you might as well hit that like button, it really would mean a lot to me. Also, if you want to be a YouTuber someday, definitely check out my other videos, I make tons of videos all about how to grow your YouTube channel. And wow, that actually sounds so much better than what we had before, and just to like throw it back to a couple of minutes ago, just so you guys can like compare what we just had now, back to like a couple of minutes ago, let me quickly play what was going on in the beginning of the video when we first did the test recording. Hey guys, since you're already watching the video, you might as well hit that like button, it really would mean a lot to me. Also, if you want to be a YouTuber someday, definitely check out my other videos, I make tons of videos all about how to grow your YouTube channel. And yeah, so you guys can clearly see we made some crazy improvements to our audio quality. And now before I do show you how to save the file, one thing I do want to quickly mention is that if you record your audio in like OBS or like on your phone or on a camera or really whatever, all you have to do is just drag the audio file straight to Audacity like from your desktop onto Audacity or like on your computer or whatever, right? And you can usually just start making the edits directly from that as if you were had recorded in Audacity to begin with. Just make the same changes that I showed you guys in today's video and then replace the old audio in like, in like your editing software with the new and improved audio. So anyways, to save your file, all you have to do is just select it all by clicking this like blank space right here like I showed you guys before. Go to file and then from there go to export and what I like to personally do is export as WAV but you can export it as MP3 as well it's really totally up to you guys. So I'll hit WAV I'll just save it to my desktop I'll leave it as untitled hit save and hit OK right here should appear right here in a couple of seconds and there it is. Um, again if you guys enjoyed the video just please hit that like button it really would mean a lot to me I'd appreciate it a lot and it would also help a lot of other people find this video and also subscribe if you're new to the channel but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.